Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Paulo, and this is Tablecraft. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a follow-up to my tutorial video on getting custom sources loaded into 5th edition. And uh, after I was talking about that game, I actually am going to build the character. I never got around to it. I spent so much time just getting PC Gen to work that I never actually built the character all the way. So you guys can go with me on getting that working. I'm sure there'll be a couple of little hiccups since this is kind of a hacky solution. But... Um, if it works as well as I think it's going to, it'll be definitely be worth it in the end. Okay guys, here we are loaded up in PC Gen, and we can see we got all of our source options available. We're gonna start with this 5e Dungeons and Dragons core books. That's the alternate sources that we added last time, and then we need to add all of the Eberron stuff that I want. So that's gonna be that. And that. And Artificer is going to be our class, so we need to grab that. And then Sword Coast Adventures for, what was it? One of the backgrounds that I need for this build. And this isn't optimized or min maxed or anything. This was literally just me going through my books at my friend's house the other day and finding stuff that looked cool. And then I did look at RPG Botnet for like five minutes to find this one background because I want to do, I want to like craft a lot. So that's that's where that background came from. So we'll start a new character. And then a lot of this stuff I took straight out of the Eberron books. So this name, Bastion Shield, is was two of the base options where they were like, here's ideas of Warforge names and I just grabbed two of them that and this is a nice feature that I don't think I've ever really talked about on here the tab labels um, I usually throw in what game I'm playing on here so let's see what do I call it Tim's game and then throw the name down there that way if I got a lot of stuff opened and all with, you know, random names that I made up. Uh, it doesn't matter. And go. Pretty sure Warforged don't have specific genders unless you give them to them. And I didn't figure it out, so we're going to go unknown for now on that. Deity, none. Alignment, I don't know yet. And then these are all rolled, uh, rolled ability scores that I'm going to drop in here. And his method was... Roll 46, re-roll all ones, and drop the lowest number. Which, I mean, I asked him, I'm like, that seems uh, kind of beefy. And he said, yeah, I want to play a really beefy game. So, you know, I'm not going to complain about high stats. Especially, everybody's got high stats, not just me. So, And honestly, that method, like... My total mods are three, so it's not that crazy. And then race, war forged, and class. Oh, there it is, right there. And add that. Yes, they are. And max HP for first level. So some of this stuff, I'm not 100% sure on what his ruling is. So I'm gonna, if I'm unsure of things, I'm gonna just pick default. So like this armor class method, honestly, because I haven't played fifth edition, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I'm sure I could look it up real quick. But for, for me playing in his game right now, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go default stuff. And now this stuff, I gotta go off of the sheet that I made there. So I know I picked a Arcana, and then I have History checked. And it looks like I have Investigation. And Specialist. This, 
I didn't actually choose when we were there. And this is one of the reasons why I like to do PC Gen, because I didn't know that this was something that I had to make a choice on. Uh, maybe because I read the book poorly and I was skimming and we were sharing the uh, Wayfinder's Guide to Eberron between like four people. And I think I missed this. And so I'm going to go Gunsmith. And then let's see what I have written down. So I know I want to do smithing. Smith's tools. Oh, and it doesn't want to let me add it. This might be some of the jank um, from our uh, our custom sources here, because I'm not sure why it doesn't want to let me add that. Because it says I have two. Let's just try a different one. Okay, so I can get Tinkerer's tools, which is weird. And then whatever I choose here, I know in, in my head that this means smithing. So whatever bonus I get from it, I may just have to adjust that to smithing, like on my paper sheet, which is what I'll actually be playing off of. Will it let me take thieves tools? No. What about jewelers? Oh, leather workers? Oh, see, I can take leather workers, so that's weird. I don't know. And then background. So. Here we go. This is the background that I needed uh, Sword Coast Adventures for. So Clan Crafter. And it looks like Clan Crafter gives me another uh, tool proficiency. And that time it let me take Smith's tools. So let's... Because I kind of wanted these tools. So let me see if I can get rid of Leather Worker. I don't think I don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to get it to say it. Nope. Does not look like it. So we'll know. Leather's Worker's tools actually means thieves tools. When we're playing the game, that's done. Background is done. Background bond. And I'm going to go to qualified. And now you can see that down here in the bottom right, it has these like these bonds that I could either roll for or just choose one. But I actually wrote stuff and they're all kind of silly but I'm gonna do the custom ones Click add, that's what I didn't do. And my flaw, I think I did pick one of those. 
Yeah. So when we were RPing in the game, we were talking about our flaws. I gave a uh, fake one because I think it would be kind of fun uh, for people to not get what I was doing for a little while and then kind of figure it out. So background ideal. And this is pretty close to what I had chosen, so I'll just go with that. Personality trait. And with these, I'm trying to kind of trying to play them to the Warforged ideals that he was created, that he doesn't necessarily have the firmest grip on uh, human ideas, and that clan. I am gonna definitely play to that clan uh, crafter background uh, because it means that he was trained by dwarfs, and so as we started this campaign. Uh, I'm going to be with a bunch of dwarves that I'll drink at this bar, and that bar happens to uh, be where everyone else is. How crazy is that? But you know that seems like a seems like a good reason for a warforged who got made to work with dwarves now is free, still works with dwarves because that's the only thing he knows, and now uh, gets caught up in this adventure because there, you know, is a chance for maybe precious materials that he needs to continue his aspirations with crafting or something like that. So it's still pretty loose. Um, and because I don't know the D and D universe super well, um, I don't necessarily know all of the places, but, uh, when I get a second to sit down with the DM actually tonight, when we play this game, uh, we're just going to like scribble in. He's from here. This is where we're at. And that'll be that. So. So I think I'm going to go there. Oh, no, I get another background personality trait. I don't want any more. All right. And race base. So this is... Okay, so I just went and did a little bit of research, and it, I think the one that we're playing with, like the one that I was planning to play with, was the from the Races of Eberron. So we're going to go with that. And starting equipment, Warforged Subrace. Hmm, what did I choose? Okay, so I'm pretty sure I went Envoy on this one. Oh, and that means there's more stuff. Right, because I did take an ability score increase. But that might have already been applied in my stats. So I'm going to leave that alone, because I'm almost sure that I already applied the ability score increase. And it's going to, but I, I could, I guess I could redo this at some point, but I'm not going to do it right now my language selection. I should have already gotten Dwarvish, and I think I took Gnomish as well. Which is... And then I get another skill proficiency, and I have that list. I think I took Perception here. Yep. All right, and now starting equipment. So let's go through this. I took two simple weapons, and I took the scale mail, and I took different simple weapons. The first one 
was a dagger. And the second one was a hammer. So I figured that was like, for kind of a blacksmithy guy, that seemed like the right thing. And it's just gonna always say that freaking plus one must be added, but I'm not, not doing it right now. And then I don't normally do this for NPCs, but since I I have it all on my sheet, I might as well get it in here. So my skin tone, gray, right, oh, what did I write? Slate gray. Gray, yeah. Hair color, none. Hair style, eye color. What did I write for eye color? Oh, there we go. Wrote slate gray for eye color and metal. You know what? There we go. That sounds cooler. And I did roll for my height and weight, which are somewhere on this sheet. So my weight is 306 pounds, which I think is slim for, for someone who's 6'7". Oh no, I gotta do math. So it's six times twelve plus seven. Yeah, seventy nine inches. And did I have anything else? I hadn't really written any of this stuff in here, so no. And temporary bonuses, I'm a level one character, so I don't have any of this stuff, which is great. So there we go. I'm all done. Um, I'll go ahead and throw up a link to a Google Drive document with these, with this character sheet in there and maybe a scan of at least one piece of the paper sheet. And you can see kind of like the differences. And I'm, now I'm gonna take this, oh, you know what? Getting ahead of myself, because I think do I need to add some spells? I know. I know I should have two spell slots. So let me see. Oh, I got I have some spells. Can I can I add one? I really want grease, but it's not telling me I can have grease. But the book was telling me I can have grease. So everyone know on the paper sheet. I have grease. So I guess, I guess we'll leave the spells out here and I'll just run them off the book because it doesn't seem like the, like this is completely updated for that. So, all right, that should be it. Um, if you found this video to be helpful or you liked watching it, maybe uh, give me a like. And if you want to see more PC Gen stuff with Pathfinder and 5th edition and maybe a couple other systems that I'm thinking about running for some sci-fi things with another group, hit me up and hit the subscribe button. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.